What I'm trying to do is to help teachers to reflect on the qualities of classroom dialogue, of the way pupils interact with teachers and with one another in talk in the classroom. It has to take dialogue very seriously as a way we all learn. The mistake is to think that everything is like this high stakes end of school thing. It's not. That's only one part of a whole spectrum of uses of assessment and all of those uses are essential part of teaching and learning, not something you could do without. We need to broaden the idea of assessment. The key idea to get is that all the time you're trying as a teacher to learn about where the pupils are and then to use that learning to get back to them. Putting priority on this notion of dialogue with pupils, getting them involved in talking the talk, in discussion about learning, that's the crucial thing to establish. If you can get that, if you get them confident, then you've really helped them to be better learners for the rest of their lives. That's the main task. The teacher's job is to challenge, not just to listen and encourage, but also at the right point to challenge so as to get the thinking to go more deeply. In doing this, the teacher is a model, a model for the pupils to talk to one another. One of the key lessons that pupils must learn with one another and with the teacher is you can contradict, you can give a challenge, that's what you should do, but whenever you do, you've got to give a reason for what you're saying and then that can be compared with other people's reasoning and then we're on the road to learning something new.